In today's video, you will discover a completely new side to Notion. Third-party apps, plugins, and aids that will improve your Notion productivity and workflow by 10x. If you wait for Notion to come out with all the individual features, it will take them a really long time. I have found the option of trying to identify third-party software that works with Notion and also independently so that I can put it to great use. I've been using these for some time now on a daily basis. All links to the software are linked in the description below. None of these software providers have sponsored any part of this video. Miro is a visual collaboration software. Go to miro.com to download and give it a try. It's free for some tiers. Before you get daunted, it's pretty easy software to use and you will get around it in the first 15 minutes of using this software. Miro can create visual boards like Kanban, mind maps, business models and customer journey maps. So I use it to create everything else besides Kanban because Kanban is already available within Notion. My uses include creating storyboards for YouTube videos or client presentations, mind maps to brainstorm, business models, and customer journey maps for client discussions. You can take notes from within the board, get people to annotate on the board, and use a to-do list within Miro, add a meeting agenda, a project summary, and much more. You can embed the Miro board right into Notion so that you can view it while you're working inside of Notion. All you need to do is to use the embed option. Turn on the anyone can access the board. No sign-in request it. Adjust the size to say a 1920 by 1080 and put it on presentation mode. Copy the URL and paste it as an embed into Notion. And there you go. It appears right into Notion. Once you're done with the storyboard, you can remove the hyperlink and just embed the PDF inside instead. If you're, say, a solopreneur and you work alone, you could still put it to great use. What I do is use the free option, but download the PDF once I'm done with the brainstorming. The Mark Manager is a Chrome extension plugin. If you use the advantage of Notion's colored texts and comments feature with some kind of a nomenclature, you will find this useful. The way I use it is all the highlights in red have the highest priority, followed by yellow, and pink is one level above red. Similarly, you put in all the comments on the sidebars or a word in mid-sentence. For example, after my storyboarding using Miro, I use a script frame within Notion and highlight where I want my B-roll to come in through the comments. This allows me to reduce the time that I take to talk on camera to less than 20 minutes per video. So now with the Mark Manager, I can load all the marks with one single click. What it does is sort all the marks into categories according to their colors. You can scroll to the context of the marks and filter the marks you want to see. It works seamlessly with the dark mode. If you want handwriting in Notion, you can enable it with an iPad and an Apple Pencil. GoodNotes 5 is possibly one of the best handwriting apps out there. If you're with a book and you're reading and you want to think creatively, for example, you would tend to doodle and take down a chart. Now let's say that you want to bring this into Notion. Now you're aware that Notion can't currently do native handwritten notes. This GoodNotes method allows you to represent accurate diagrams and provides the closest feeling you get to writing with a pen and paper. You can use other note-taking apps like Notability, NoteShelf, or Procreate that also work similarly. Let's take this illustration of designing a product for the customer. From a positioning perspective, it follows this nine-box grid, and you typically choose the positioning based on the client's preferences. Now you can select this illustration by grabbing the lasso tool, click on it, copy, and simply paste it into the desired place within Notion. It's going to take a second to upload, and you can see the upload in the corner. It's just a simple copy-paste, and there's nothing fancy going on here. But you have the same exact image in Notion now. You will notice that the entire image is transferred as a PNG with a transparent background. As you can see, it works well whether you're on a light or a dark background. 
Typinator is a simple text expander. I like it in comparison to the feature in Alfred or Text Expander. Alfred Text Expander isn't quite as powerful and Text Expander has a monthly billing and this is lifetime. If you're considering, say, drawing a line inside of Notion, just copy the line based on the emojis that you drew out and add it into Typinator and insert a shortcut to execute every time you want it, just like this. Now every time you type the shortcut, it is replaced by the expanded text. It's also useful when you type a formula. The closing bracket just pops up immediately and you don't have to keep wondering if you added the right number of brackets. The same with the quotes and you don't have to worry that you didn't close the quote. I also use it extensively to respond to emails from my clients. Before you think that it's tacky, just consider that 99% of business responses, especially the large ones, use templates involving text expanders to write back to you. Google Forms is a simple survey and collation tool. It collects the answers into a Google Sheet so that you can refer to it from time to time. Inside of Notion, I use the embed option to put the link of the sheet in so that I can click and view it in the browser. For my work with Notion, I use it to identify viewer needs for templates and provide them with the exact template. You would have seen the new Ultimate GTD template that I launched last week. Now one of the tasks that you would tend to put in is a Zoom call. Now in the call link column, you can just embed the Zoom link and you can connect straight as soon as you click on the link, right from within the Ultimate GTD template. So which ones are your favorites? Ones from here or any of the others? Do leave a comment below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like the video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.